Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. A lot of people have found that they want to get more control in their lives. So much is out of our control these days. People kind of yearn for this uh, return to, we'll say, the good old days. And one of the things that they can do is, is poultry is a very easy, inexpensive way to get back into that. And luckily, all this time, we've had this as a business. We've always sold poultry supplies, but now we're just poised where people want to come in and really do it in a bigger way. Um, it has been huge in the last few years, raising chickens in your backyard on Long Island. I think there's a few reasons for it. I mean, people are, are very interested these days and very concerned where their food comes from. They want to get as natural as possible, and chickens are a really easy way to do that, but they're also fun, and, they're, and it's a sort of a family endeavors. They're great for small kids, for adults, for people of all ages and capacity. It's not hugely expensive and you get this great benefit of fresh, healthy, natural eggs. You don't need a rooster. You need a hen. The hens lay the eggs, but you don't need a rooster if you wanted just fresh eggs. They're still, the girls are still going to lay roughly one egg a day um, in, in the laying season. Um, the roosters, you only need a rooster if you wanted to have fertilized eggs that you then wanted to hatch more chicks from. So that's the other nice thing is you don't even need to have to worry about raising a rooster that could be loud and a little aggressive and upset your neighbors. You could just have the nice docile hens and, and still have the great benefits of them. Well, first you have to find out if you're even legally allowed to have them. Different towns um, have different regulations. Most towns will allow you to have hens. There are some towns that have no rooster laws. Others will allow a rooster until you know it becomes a noise issue and then the biggest problem I think we have on Long Island is predators you we have raccoons foxes hawks so you have to build a structure that is going to protect them um, from the predators and then and of course from the, the heat the rain the cold as well so once you establish your coop and you know you're legal and you're allowed to be there and you have your coop set up then it's easy then you get the chickens and you sit back you have fun you watch them grow you enjoy the eggs but laying the groundwork can be a little a little tricky. Um, I got a flyer in the mail talking about uh, the chicks being out and we're interested in getting chickens the next year or so so we thought it'd be fun for the kids to come out to see what the chicks look like and to get some more information about how to raise chicks and what we can do with them afterwards. Um, well I like the idea of growing chickens to raise our own eggs you know and to be able to use them at home and to give them away to friends and family and you know we're really into our own little home garden and stuff. So this would be a fun addition to it and helps the kids also learn about life and where their food comes from. I'm not sure about getting permits, but I wouldn't just jump into buying a chicken, you know, and say, okay, it's my pet and take care of it. I mean, we're really here to get some information about how to make a coop for them and to make sure that they're safe and warm in the winter. I mean, it's a commitment. It's a big commitment, so I would really look into everything before I went out and bought some chicks. We always go to a farm and get um, fresh milk and eggs, so we decided let's get our own chickens because we can do this too. And my brother has a big enough piece of land to do it, so now we have our own chickens. <laughs> so it's very good for the kids to see the beginning, where it starts from, and farm to refrigerator. And we're very much into gardening too, so they get to see the fruits and vegetables, how it starts from a seed and then we get to eat everything, so it's good. So they do learn a lot too, and it's a lot of fun. Keeps them busy and outside. Well, I live in South Hall. I'm a practicing psychologist, and I always was interested in agriculture, and I got a chicken coop, and we just recently bought a property out here to grow Christmas trees. And I've always been called a gentleman farmer from the Bronx, and even though I went to school academically, I always liked the dirt. My experience with chickens was the live market in Little Italy when I was a kid. My grandfather would take me there, usually at Easter time. We'd pick out the chicken and the duck and the lamb that we'd have for Easter Sunday. And I was always fascinated with animals. See, most of the eggs you get today in the market are four months old. These are day or two. The yolk is absolutely sunshine yellow. The taste, once you have those eggs, uh, you won't go back. Well, my son is allergic to cats and dogs, and I also grew up in Islip, 
where we did have chickens. And since I can't have the cat and the dog, and I would prefer an outside animal, I think chickens is the way to go. You can't just get chickens. You have to go down to the town and make sure it's okay for where you live and how many acres you have, and you have to make sure everything is, you know, that you can have them where you live. We live in East Mauritius. We just moved out here about seven months ago. So I'm hoping that uh, we can have some chickens at our house. We've ordered chicks, and we are um, going to be uh, raising chickens at our house. So we've come here today to learn more about how to do it properly and care for them. We feel that it would be good for us to know where our eggs come from, so we do want them for eggs. Chickens can live into their teens. Um, you know, we've had some cases of them reaching 15 years old. I would say average would be seven, eight, nine years old that you can have there. And peak laying production in the first few years of their life, their laying slows down as they get older, but they'll still lay um, into their seven seven, eight, nine years old. Uh, through the years, I've really, I love it. I love, my first chicks were hatched two days ago. I was thrilled, you know, you hear them cheeping in the incubator, and then we, I like to spend my time with the full-grown girls, and uh, so it is, it, it's definitely a passion. It's a lot of fun.